Hi guys, it's Trent here with the 750 Iron Fire Cooker. Um, we're going to run through it today. We're going to start a fire. We're going to throw some snags on there. We're going to do some Portuguese style chicken and we're even going to do some wood fired pizzas. So let's get stuck into it and have some fun. Once you've got one of these big girls in your backyard, it's time to light the fire. So open up the firebox. You'll see, put the timber in the bottom. So the way that I like to light mine, I like to create a little bridge in mine so I can get a rear draft from the rear vent. First thing you gotta do is open up all of the vents. You need as much oxygen to get into this baby fire as you can. So on these, we've added the additional vents. Um, a lot of your smokers only have a vent on the door, a small vent. This one has two big ventilation slides, one at the front and one at the rear. So I got both the vents open, guys. Got me timber in there, ready to put the fire starters in. Get me fire lighters going. Let it go for five to 10 minutes. Do not close the vents, do not open the vents. Just let it burn away and make some natural early coals to get this fire going. So guys, I've got the fire. It's been burning for the last 10, 15 minutes. Barbecue's starting to get up to temp. We're at 150 Fahrenheit already. Um, what I need to do now is create a good draft through here to get ready for us to smoke our Portuguese style chooks. And um, we've thrown some sausages on there today too to see how they turn out. So what you do once your fire's nice and healthy and you've got a nice clean burn coming out of the top, you can't see big black smoke bellowing out. It hasn't got that um, really strong pungent smoke smell and it's a nice clean burn. All you do is close the front lid, make sure the first chimney is open and the front vent is closed and that gives you a reverse flow stick smoker through the 750 chamber side. So we've had the fire going for about 30 minutes. She's almost up to temp. The beauty of this big girl is once she is up to temp, it stays there. Fire maintenance is only once an hour. So I'm gonna start throwing on the sausages here. Got our Portuguese style cut up chook here, guys. Really recommend going and sussing out wild smokes, um, herbs and spices. Great guys, Australian made product, check them out. Now I'm just gonna close the lid, go and take a breather for an hour, come back every hour. Give the fire a little bit of attention. Make sure we're not running out of fuel in there. Temp gauges normally take care of themselves. This big girl really holds a good consistent temperature. So it's an hourly check on the fire. Three to four hours, we're pulling off beautiful, beautiful stags and beautiful chicken. So I'm just gonna check it out. It's been an hour, we've been over under the trees. Um, haven't been doing anything with this. I still got a really good burn in there. My vents are probably only open about an inch each. Um, which is giving me a really good controlled temperature across the whole cylinder. The trusty Teltrue glow-in-the-dark gauges up there, they're both sitting on a consistent 250 and they're both exactly the same. So for you guys that don't do much smoking, that's the desired outcome. You've got a heat source down here on the bottom right hand side and you want to make sure that with a reverse flow, you've got a good consistent temperature all the way from here back to where the, the um, radiant heat's coming from down here and you've got your smoke heat up the top. So you can see here on our gauges, 250, 250, smack bang on. As our cook gets closer to finishing, I'm gonna stoke that fire up to get some good strong heat into my um, warming towers and take those um, tuning plates out, throw my pizzas in. Pizzas will be done in half an hour and that's my entree for all the guys before we serve up the meat. Okay guys, I see what we got after an hour. See how our sausages are looking? Oh, look at that. That's a perfect smoke coloration on these sausages. They're gonna come out beautifully. Chicken's starting to get a little bit of burnt ends on there and a little bit of bark, so that's coming along nicely. We might even just have a look to see how these sausages are going. Doesn't take that long to cook sausages. We're getting a good, consistent smoke ring on there. They're gonna be beautiful. Now that we're getting ready to throw our pizzas in, gotta make sure I've got this fire down here nice and stoked up. To get the temp up to oven temperature. I've opened the chimney, I'm going to throw my pizzas in, like I said earlier, I'll just throw one up on the top rack, one up on the middle rack, get my heat nice and even, just take out the diffuser, there's a little hole on here, there's some lugs on the back of the barbecue, I'll just walk around the back, hang up this plate and I'm ready to cook pizzas. I'm just moving my diffusers into the middle so I don't get hot spots up the guts. That gives me a good even temperature all the way around. Close these doors, be back in here in about half an hour. We'll have beautifully cooked wood-fired pizzas. We've got them pizzas in there happening for us. Temp is coming right up. We've got oven temperature happening over here now, over 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside here, we're gonna check out our sausages and our 
Portuguese style chicken. Let's see if she's ready. Oh, the smell is unreal. That's beautiful for a nice hot dog at home. Bit of mustard, bit of cheese, whatever you want. You can also cut these up and use them as a bit of an entree. But these are the bad boys that we want to see how they're going. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. Beautiful pink color on the outside. For those of you who are not a smoker, you will have a pink tinge to your brown meat um, because it's been smoked. So we've had those pizzas on for half an hour. Temps are right up at 400 Fahrenheit. So these pizzas should be ready to go. Nice and crispy, all cooked right in here over the fire. Whew, look at that, they're ready all right. That is about as good as it gets for a wood-fired pizza. So today we went through how to use the barbecue, the all-in-one. We cooked up chicken, we cooked up sausages, we cooked up pizzas. Um, comment below if you guys want to see us cook anything special next time. Um, get in touch, let us know if you want one of these in your backyard today. The boys at Iron Fire are ready to answer your call.